came here and it's just been a lot of fun. It's a beautiful area. Teton Valley, I think, is unmatched for beauty anywhere else in the world. There are, of course, other beautiful places, but it's just gorgeous in the summertime with the creeks and the green trees and the trails up into the mountains and the awesome Teton Peaks. We have a very diverse um, community here. We have um, some of the population that um, is um, the old um, farm, the old farmers and their kids and grandkids who are still living here. We have the newcomers. We also have the people that are here for the skiing. So we have quite a mix of people. When I um, first moved here, um, I um, soon learned that um, one of the favorite things of the teachers in the faculty room was to go through the sheriff's log and um, they would chuckle about some of the posts and as I got looking into those I found that they were um, there were some every week that were very very interesting and um, some very humorous. When he first started posting the sheriff's log I thought you don't have time for that you're the busiest person on earth but he got such fun feedback from it that I don't think he can quit. Every Thursday I, I look at the Sheriff's Log, and I always hope that there's some um, stories in there that um, I can use, and I'm never disappointed. It's just a different feel. Reverse angle parking, and there's somebody's goat eating my laundry, and, and okay. Yeah. Actually, the, um, uh, when I first started doing this, um, somebody told me a post about, that happened years ago about um, a cowboy who lost his chaps up Bitch Creek. It seems to be the sheriff who gets to take care of all the things, and you almost expect to see him riding along on his horse, not in his car, coming to save the day and, and fix everything that goes wrong in the, in the valley. DUIs is our, our biggest problem that we have here. Uh, being in a rural community, that tends to be an issue. When people drink, they don't have a lot of options as far as, you know, what they're going to do then to get home. And if they don't plan ahead, then they end up getting into trouble. And, it, and it's not that uncommon that people will uh, lose their car and, uh, I don't know if it's because of drinking or just they just forgot. I don't mean to make light of the gentleman, but he called in here very concerned his car had been stolen, only to call us back and say he found it actually on the opposite side of the building. We'd forgotten he'd parked it. So uh, we get our share of those, uh, our share of animal calls. Uh, we chase a lot of cows. I feel like the community has always trusted us, uh, and I appreciate that. We don't. We try our best not to abuse that in any way, um, and to give our utmost attention to any call, no matter how uh, how small or how big it may sound, may seem at the time. What I think is special about Tetonia is that it's small, most everybody knows everybody. It, it really feels like everybody's family cares about each other. If anybody's got any sort of problem, there's always somebody there to help out. There's always people willing to help each other. I live a mile away, so my kids can ride their bike home and they can ride their bike back here. I, I feel safe with letting them walk down to the store. Um, it's, it's just pretty safe. Some of the type of questions that um, the sheriff gets are certainly not questions that you would get in Detroit or other places that I've lived where my friends live. And so I think they find it very refreshing that a place exists where the big thing is somebody's um, horses got out and um, they might be in danger. What we see here on a small scale could and should definitely be projected onto a larger scale in bigger cities. And I think if we had that type of connection between the Sheriff's Department and the community, I think that a lot of um, these type of problems would, would be solved. It just means the world to me to be able to live here. 
this is my people. This is my place. You know, if you're, if you're not nice to somebody, it's, it's going to come back to you because it's too small a world not to. Spirit of Jetonia is a spirit of family, spirit of trust, a spirit of um, helping each other. Spirit of Tetonia is community, small town, church. Sometimes we make fun of the traditions that you see in um, like Mayberry, USA. And I think that that spirit that, um, that we saw in Mayberry, USA, you can find here in Tetonia, Idaho. Some of the comments I get when I post things from the sheriff's log, people say, I can't believe somebody called a sheriff about that. And I always think, isn't it great that we live in a place where people trust the sheriff enough that they can call with those small things? Because those small things can be very large to those people. You, you get around, you see some things, and then you know what's really, you know a good thing when you have it. And I think that's, that's, that's what I recognize here. If a sheriff or his deputies can help resolve something small um, very easily, what a great thing that is. And um, I'm glad that our sheriff's department does that.